Hey everybody, it's me again. I had to redo this video because Dummy Me forgot to turn the sound on. <laughs> I went to I went to look at the video and it had no sound. So, huh, joke's on me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to redo that. And Gabby is still here. I'm still here. And she's uh, going to start all over again. So, go ahead. All right. So, basically, what we're doing is... We're talking to John and kind of getting to know him a little bit, and um, our main goal is to kind of have people who are, might be able-bodied um, to understand what it's like to have a disability, to be able to work with somebody, and uh, also understand that we're all the same, you know? We just have a couple differences. That's right. That's right, you do. So, um, first of all, John, just to get everybody to, to get to know you and be able to relate to you a little bit more... Um, can you tell us maybe about some interests or, or hobbies that you have? Well, I like being on Facebook. I like being, I like listening to music. I like playing on video games, playing with video games. So, yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, I like going out, going to concerts, going to music, going to movies every now and then. No, I'm not really a big movie guy, but it is what it is. What kind of music do you like? I like all kinds of music. You know, I like all kinds of music. I don't know. What about smooth jazz? Uh, okay, I don't like that. <laughs> Ninety five percent. No offense to the smooth jazz lovers right. out there. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just saying, we got to be specific. I right. don't know if you like yeah. all kinds. I mean, I would listen to it. I would have listened to it. Okay. Some of it's not bad. Okay. It's not my go-to. Let's put it that way. What's your go-to? I really don't have a go-to. Honestly. I like all music, you know, I, I think I like rap more. Okay. You know, like older rap, like Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre and people from back, that era. Okay. Eminem, people like that. I like Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the candies Eminem. <laughs> so. Those too. We love all type of Eminems. That's right. I love that. I love that. Eminem's lives matter. <laughs> all right. So, um, what about, you kind of briefly talked about, like, um, social media and some games and stuff you like to play. What, uh, specific games are you into? I like, uh, sports games mainly. Okay. But I am stuck on this game on my PlayStation. It's a war game. It's about battleships and stuff. I'm, like, completely addicted to it. <laughs> they, I, they need to start, at, like, a world of warships, legends, anonymous group. And then you'll join it. I will join it. You gotta start it. <laughs> start it up. <laughs> yeah, there won't be too many of those people though. <laughs> but they won't admit they have a good problem. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, other than that. So cool. So mainly well, sports in that game. You're a big sports guy. And I do do Fortnite every now and then. Okay. That's very cool. So music, been to sports. Do you ever go to any uh, sporting games, like live games? Yeah, I've been to baseball games. I haven't. I've only been to. One steal a game, and it was a preseason game, so it really wasn't that great. Okay. Because this is the first what first quarter, it's all the first people. Then every game, every time after that, it's all the scrubs. Yeah. That yeah. are trying to get on. And you used to work. You used to work somewhere where you. Yes, I worked on. I worked down at Heinz Field, to being I was like a security guard. Okay. So did you do like a lot of directing people and? Yes, directing people where their seats are. Telling people they can't go certain ways. Did you ever take anybody out with the chair? No, I might just throw people out. Okay, all right. But I have never taken anybody out. <laughs> the people I've thrown out, I've had to have people buy me just in case. Really? Like police, uh -huh. just in case they would come after me. Really? Yeah. Wow. They never, they never, never did. Yeah. They're too drunk to move, so. <laughs> oh my god. But other than that, no, it was fun, but me getting older. Cold weather does bad things to bones. Yeah. And I'm, since I'm in a wheelchair, it kind of makes it worse. Gotcha. Like pain wise? Pain. Okay. It makes me like, ow, makes me feel older than I actually am. Mm hmm. So. Gotcha. What do you say? Do you want to kind of talk about your life a little bit and sure. see, take it back? Yeah, take it back. And tell, tell the viewers. Take it back to old school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um,. Let's just start out with, with your birth and how you were born. Oh, okay. Um, well, 
unfortunately, the doctor messed up my, messed me up when it comes to my birth. He, and, um, the doctor used forceps when he delivered me, and he twisted my neck around to the point where he hurt, or damaged, I should say, my spinal cord. The C4 and C5 area of my spinal cord, which if I'm not mistaken, is the very top part of it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, yeah, so. So that's what's happened. Does that mean what kind of mobility? Like some people, if you have a certain, you know, C4 can, injury, could be paralyzed from the waist down, or how? How do you? I'm, I'm not paralyzed. Okay. I do have movement in all four of my limbs, which kind of surprises most doctors mm -hmm. because I'm considered a quadriplegic, and they they don't understand how it works because quad means you have limited mobility in all four limbs. I have mobility in all four limbs. Okay. I can kick, I can throw punches, kind of. With this hand, my right, left hand for sure, right hand's pretty, it's just there. So, but yeah. I but think, you have feeling in, oh, yeah. in all four limbs? All four limbs, all over. So, yeah. Okay. So what is your, um, what was it like to, um, Growing up, did you what did you always use a wheelchair or what was Yeah, I started I started out using a wheelchair when I was eight years old. I got my first wheelchair at eight years old and that was almost a complete disaster. Why? Well, Why do you say that? Well where I was from, there was a mall down there. It was not the mall's no longer there, but there was a mall down there and I went to the mall with my mom and my dad. And my dad said, go ahead, take off. So I took off, and I started panicking because it was going too fast. And I was going straight for this mirror, which was like 20 foot tall. And I was screaming, I don't know what to do. My mom and dad are both yelling, take your hand off the control. <laughs> and by the time... You were going full speed ahead. Oh, yeah. Full I speed. was full speed in the head. My dad and my mom were sprinting down the hallway. Were you scared, or were you oh, yeah, like, this was, is awesome? Or? No, that was, well, both. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, it was both, so it was both more, yeah, this is great, but then it was like, oh, God, mm -hmm. I can't stop. Yeah. And my dad literally caught up to me and lifted my hand up off the, off the, um, So it was a motorized, it was a motorized yeah. motor? Did you have a manual prior? No. Well, I, my mom and dad used, since I was, before that, my mom carried, mom and dad carried me around. Really? Yeah, that wasn't that big. Until, like, uh, until you were, like, eight years old? Until I was, like, eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, they still kind of did. If I, if I couldn't take my wheelchair somewhere, mm -hmm. they took me out my chair and carried me to wherever. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Okay. I came within two inches of hitting that mirror. Wow. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. But. So did they make you take driving lessons after that? <laughs> no, I just started driving it until I got used to it in slow motion. Mm -hmm. Now I'm speed demon, <laughs> as people called me. Very cool. So you you do control your own wheelchair using your left hand, is that right? Yes. Okay. My left hand. I use my left hand for everything. My mouse, my keyboard. Even even now, I don't use my keyboard as much anymore because it's the smaller version. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of harder for me to work. So I use my online on-screen keyboard. It's a lot easier for me to do. So you just pull pull it up whenever you need to use it? Yeah, I keep like it app. open. Okay. I keep it open, and then I all I got to do is click on it, and it opens. Very cool. So, yeah. So what's your main method to kind of like t keep in touch with everybody and family and friends and stuff? Um, yeah, yeah, right now, it's just uh, Facebook Messenger on my I'm on Facebook on my computer. Okay. But since I got a new phone, thanks to my new roommate, or not new roommate, she's been here for three years. But thanks to my roommate, I got a phone now, and I keep contact with my family with the phone. Okay. That's just the family. Everybody else I do it online, on my Facebook. Very cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. So, um, I don't know, like, after you got your first wheelchair and things like that, um, did you go to school using that chair? Yeah, I, okay. I went to a special needs school up until I was like 14. Mm -hmm. That was even before I got my chair. I was getting pushed around like a stroller. Really? Like a baby stroller, but bigger. Who would do that? My mom and dad. 
and people will at the school. Okay. Would they drop you off, or did your parents come to school with you? No, I got dropped off by a school bus. So. Okay. I mean, it was kind of like a mini manual wheelchair, but it was it kind of looked like a stroller. Okay. So yeah. Because you were you were unable to self propel. Right. Right. So they would have to move again for it. Okay. But. And where are you in? Um, because you don't have cognitive disability. No. You have. Physical. Physical. Yeah. So, um, technically, what is your disability name? I mean, your disability. It's a long one. It's a C4, C5, spastic quadriplegic spinal cord injury with neurological bladder and bowel. Okay. Did you find in school that people treated you, though, like you had a cognitive disability when you didn't, or? When I was at my special needs class, school, they did. Okay. Well, everybody there was special needs. So a lot of them were cognitively okay. disabled. So, I kind of get that. But, so you were all kind of thrown into the same category, yeah. even though you had differences? Right. But a couple of my teachers seen that I was not cognitively disabled. Mm-hmm. And they were pushing me to do better than them. Mm -hmm. And that's when they pushed me to the point where I got I got uh, mainstreamed into the ninth grade at the, my high school. Okay, so with everybody else. Yes, I took one class. Okay. And not in the ninth grade. And just to see if I could. So you were at the, the special needs school, and they sent you to mainstream for one class. Right? Yes, I, I was there for I was. Uh, I was at the special needs class school for half a year, and the first half, uh, first half of the day, and the second half of the day I was at the high school. Okay. And what was that like? Did you enjoy that? Were you looking oh, forward yeah. to absolutely to being in mainstream? Oh yeah, absolutely. I was tired of uh, excuse me. I was tired of looking at like math that was like six plus five and stuff like that. Wow. So <laughs> even though you were in those classes, you feel like they didn't. Bring you up to the level of right. your ability, yeah, well, kind really of. Didn't. Like my my one teacher, who I give a lot of credit to, he pushed me, and he pushed that the school, mm -hmm. the um, the special needs school, to get me more material that are in my mental. Yeah. So. Yeah. They did. They got a lot. Because without that, you might not have reached a level of education that you that yeah. you did. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, they mainstreamed me in ninth grade. I was 15. I was held back because of that, just because it should be. I should have graduated in 1995. Okay. But I was held back a year and graduated in 1996. So, yeah. When I was 15, they mainstreamed me into the high school completely the following year. So you did one class for a year, and they were like, all right, this is working out? And then I, did, I did one class for the ninth grade year. Okay. And then my started, starting my tenth grade year, I was at school full time. Okay. All classes. Nice. Uh, so what was that like? Did you have a locker? Or did you have no, I didn't have a locker because my mom was, went with me. Okay. She was my aide. Oh, okay. So like if I had to go to the bathroom, she would help me go to the bathroom. She helped take my notes. She helped me skip school sometimes. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> don't tell nobody. Shh. That is so funny. But yeah, but. It was great. It was nice having her there. Yeah. You know, she yeah. helped me get through things, and she helped me meet friends, make friends. I feel like that's not super typical anymore. That like no. a parent comes or no. Did, was it because they disabilities? Because I was disabled. And they didn't provide anybody right. for you, right. really. Because so. if they, if she would have loved that, they would have put me in the special needs class there. Really? Yeah. They couldn't provide like a, an aid or something. Uh, wow. Uh, so. Wow. But. That's her. Kudos to her. Yeah, she gives that up to. Uh -huh. It's awesome. She was with me for three years. Actually, she was with me when I went to junior high too. So. Okay. How was um just like your social life? Back then, I really didn't have a social life. Okay. You know, you know, I had friends at the school, at the high school. I really didn't get invited to parties or go to like school dances or anything like that really didn't really you're not a dancer <laughs> no um i uh didn't really i don't know i didn't feel comfortable yeah. back then 
The only thing I did go to, because I was in charge of, because um, it was my senior prom. Okay. Because uh, when I my senior class, I was the president of my senior class. Yeah. So I was completely in charge of setting it up, getting the food ready, picking the DJ, <sighs> just, um, um, decorating, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> Luckily, so you went I, to that. You planned it all. You better have gone. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Yeah, I did. I took my friend that I had back when I was in the special needs school. Mm-hmm. She was transferred to her high school way before me. Okay. She's a little bit older than me. But she went with me. She was my girlfriend at the time. Oh, very nice. Um, so she went with me to my senior, uh, senior um, prom. Yeah. 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 We, so, had a, we had a good time, but we'd stay till five in the morning. Five in the morning at a prom? Yes. They let you, or they make you sleep over, and sometimes they yeah. make you sleep over. You could just stay and uh-huh. go all night? Uh-huh. Wow, that's nice. Because normally, like, when you have a prom, normally the regular, the other people were leaving, mm-hmm. going, like, to a hotel or breakfast or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We were like, no, we ain't doing that. We're, no. So you're just like, we'll just stay? Yeah, we'll stay. That's cool. I mean, a lot of people stayed with us, uh, uh, pretty much, which I was kind of surprised. Wow. So were there, like, chaperones and stuff there, and they kicked you out, or? No. You could just stay If anybody didn't kick anybody out, I would have kicked them out, because I was in charge. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. So. I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. So, um, weren't you, I thought you were telling me before, you're pretty involved with, with wrestling, right? It used to be. Yeah. Not quite anymore, obviously. Mm-hmm. But when I was in ninth grade, again, I was, since I was going to the junior high, I went to all the wrestling practices and wrestling matches far and away with my dad. My dad and I and my mom would go to the away matches and the home matches and stuff like that. And my whole, my whole, um, my whole, um, my whole high school career, I was went to everything practices. I was at every practice, all the time, every day, no matter what, no matter if there's ten feet of snow. Well, I'm probably so pretty, dead. pretty dedicated. Probably most, yeah. more than some of the players. Right. Or wrestlers. I'm yeah. You know me. Yeah. I'm more like basketball, volleyball. Yeah, you're a player. You're into I'd say more players or yeah, wrestlers. Very cool. To the point where I got an award, which is up on my wall, which I would show everybody, but I don't know if I can do that. Well, maybe. Maybe I can. I'll get it down to you. You want me to rip it off the wall? Just rip it off the wall. No, I'm kidding. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, screw it to it. That's that is cool. the, the award I got for being the most dedicated and recognized as the most dedicated. What else? What else? What does he say? Given the wrestler whose participation personifies the sportsmanship, courage, and contribution to wrestling, as given by J- Dave Shalvant. Shalvant. Nice. That's awesome. That's legit. Yeah, it is. And the high school coach gave that to me. And I was in ninth grade when he gave that to me. Ooh, what's my tongue? Ooh, shoot. Okay. Sometimes this happens. Yeah, sometimes this happens. All right, you keep going. Um, so she, he gave it to me in ninth grade, stuff like that, and it was nice. It was we, we went to the, I went to the um, awards banquet all the time. And I went went everywhere with this, this damn team. <laughs> <laughs> so are you doing being like friends with them, like pretty close friends with oh, the yeah, team because yeah. of that all? Especially the kids I graduated with. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like another another podcast we could fully talk about, like, you know how you were talking about your girlfriend at the time and everything. Like, maybe we could talk more about like relationships and yeah. some different things like that too. We have a lot of we have a lot of content coming, so a lot of content. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. I feel like that. I feel like that's a that's a good first one. And John and I will be discussing d- different topics and. Um, if people have questions or comments, comment on the video, like and subscribe to my channel. That way you and click the notifications when you when I put new videos up. You can 
You'll know when it comes. Love it. All, all right. right. Well, I spilled his water, so. Okay. We have to <laughs> keep going before we all blow up here. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.